I was talking about uh, my ownership, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the butterfly valve, apparently there's a butterfly valve in the intake manifold. Yeah. The butterfly valve is supposed to cause something, do something like a stratified fuel injection thing going on with... Uh, so, it is broken. You know, it's perpetually open at maximum uh, 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 opening. <coughs> so I asked how much to change. Uh, 2,500 ringgit for a second hand one. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> because but it's not necessary. Uh, uh, I asked him, yeah, I asked him, so what if, What will happen if I don't change it? Well, he says that when you are hard accelerating or when you cold start, the car will feel rougher. I'm like, hmm, 2,500, because it comes with the whole manifold. Nobody ch sells the, the butterfly bath. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, 2,500 ringgit for a second hand one. And after two years, chances are it will break again. Should I change it? Ah, this sh <laughs> I can live with some roughness <laughs> on a cold morning. <laughs> the car is mighty difficult to maintain, man. Actually, it's so expensive. I spend, if I drive it daily, uh, nowadays, I don't, this year, I don't drive it daily. Halfway through last year, so I don't, I don't daily the car anymore. Uh, but before that, I was dating for five, six years. Uh, a year averages out 10, 12K maintenance. It's not cheap, man. Yeah, it's not cheap. Something goes, something is perpetually wrong with the car. You know? There was one time I forgot to give clear instructions to my mechanic. I sent the car in, there was like probably six electronic faults at one time with three sensors requiring changing and it changed all three without asking me. The bill came up to 6,000 over ringgit. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, dude, you think what? I print money, I, I can <laughs> live with my steering angle sensor not being accurate. <laughs> so can you imagine how this car will age? I know, right? This are, this 48 are, volt uh, system. These are mighty complex. It's, it's, it's like the Germans, they come, they, they, they see problem everywhere mm. and they turn every issue into a problem. And then they, they set their mind to a problem and they have to solve it, whatever the f cost. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they see, yeah, it is damn stupid. It's yeah. like, oh, our cars, we need to hit certain emissions. Yeah, yeah. So we make the car so complicated yeah. to make it turn off the engine while you're yeah. driving. And, all yeah. that, blah, blah. and then in the end, the whole car goes to waste after five years. Yeah, Isn't that also bad for the environment? It is. It is. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I get really cheesed off when this, you know, especially these multinational companies. Uh, especially this, this car manufacturers talking about environmental friendliness, sustainability. Dude, if you really want to be serious about sustainability, Stop build your car. Cars. Yeah, build, <laughs> you know, build your car like Rolls Royce. Make them last five, ten years. You know, or set up shop for them to come in and, and renew their car. Yeah. You got what I mean? Like, you know, give, sell, sell them a package of uh, something addition. You know, so after five years, your Rolls Royce can go in. They will touch up every single part and give you new, I new, new headlights and whatnot for a fraction of the original car's price. While you earn a significant amount of profit margin, and then your car come out like a special hand built edition by what's his name, sign it on the door. Just ask him to scratch it into the paint on the side of the door. <laughs> Chisel it in. <laughs> Chisel it in. I did the f <laughs> after sale mod. Yeah. <laughs> it's a damn good. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. because it's so sickening. I'm so sick and tired of cars. These are expensive stuff, especially for Malaysian. Dude, 300,000 ringgit, 200,000 ringgit is no joke. Yeah, a lot of people don't earn that kind of money over a period of two, three years, or five years even. And and you expect a car to last only three, four years. And then they start breaking, and within six years, you have to change it, because otherwise, the bill, the, the bill, will, the repair bill will be, you know, it's not worth your trouble. It's just not. And we know cars don't have to be like this. In the past, they were made to last 10, yeah. if not more. Right? 